Hey guys, real quick, <laughs> before this video starts, I know I say tomorrow uh, for the subathon and the giveaway in the stream, but I mean today because I didn't think that I was going to be uploading it on the day of the subathon and the giveaway. That's all. Let's go ahead and get into the video. What is going on guys? Thank you so much for coming back to Cobra TV and today we got a video where I kind of show you the controller setup that I use and I uh, it's also a call to action in our org. Uh, we have like 26, 27, 28 hunters somewhere close. We're getting close to 3000 members in the actual org. Um, and there's so many of you that I've never seen before. Uh, so many of you that took the time out of your day to uh, put in an application <clears throat> and join the org and uh, uh and i i would love to get the opportunity to be able to play with you now uh to kind of explain the content and what we do so we have uh, a stream over on twitch now i know a lot of you don't like twitch and i get it sometimes it's really hard to watch on on a cell phone <clears throat> um but uh we stream every tuesday wednesday thursday friday saturday from 2 to 10 p.m. That's eight hour streams almost all week long. Uh, and I'm about to start, I'm, I'm about to add another streaming day to that. Now, I know you don't like Twitch, right? Okay. Um, I would really like you guys to come on over and join the Twitch uh, because I want to reserve YouTube for edited content, clean edited content, my adventure, my journey through the verse, that sort of thing. Um, but the Twitch side, is where the org, the 2800 uh, or whatever the number is, the org uh, lives. That's where our journeys start. We get into wars. Uh, we're about ready to have a uh, FPS battle with Skunk Works and, uh, it, and, and that's on the 26th. Uh, I believe it's 26th uh, and that's going to be fun. Um, Skunk Works are really good people. Um, and, and, and so I digress. <laughs> Uh, there's a lot of people I haven't met and you guys all love Star Citizen. You play it, you join the org. Uh, there's a link down below in the description. You have to probably look and find where it says, uh, see more or, uh, it's a little button you click and then everything expands. All the description expands and down there, you're going to find a discord link, um, that you can, uh, use to join the discord. Now, if you don't like Twitch, I get it. A lot of people don't. So you could, uh, alternatively just join the discord uh call or know this know this you're sitting at home you don't want to watch twitch know this every tuesday through saturday i'm streaming on twitch meaning that is me getting together with anyone who wants to i play with literally everybody it's an open door you're allowed to come in uh and join you don't have to have permission you don't have to pay any money to join uh the party or to join the discord say you don't want to join discord uh and say you don't want to watch the twitch channel know for a fact that i am streaming uh i am playing the org is getting together from 2 p.m eastern standard time to 10 p.m eastern standard time and know that uh, you could join the party at the very least, and maybe you can uh, communicate through uh, proximity comms or party comms, you know, with the game. Uh, the uh, it, it, You are able to join the party um, and join the org and, and, and the adventures that you took the time to, to the org that you took the time to join. Uh, so I would like to see you there. Tomorrow, starting tomorrow, we're going to be doing periodic giveaways. And one of those giveaways, uh, we're going to start off light, right? Um, I, I, I am a full-time streamer. I do this full-time. <clears throat> uh, so we're going to start off light, start off small, but something uh, that is one of my favorite uh, uh, things in the game. And that is the um, the uh, Great Cat uh, Quicksilver Armor. So we're going to be giving this away. Every time we beat a level five hype train, we're going to be giving one of these away uh, to somebody in a random drawing, right? So this is the great cat armor. It's all stainless steel. It's absolutely beautiful. It's $15. So every time we beat a level five hype train, we're going to do uh, a, a, a drawing. And tomorrow's going to be a subathon over there on Twitch too. So it's going to be a big party. We're going to be streaming from 10 a.m. to 10 p.m. Eastern time. 
Uh, <clears throat> so it's a uh, just a special stream, um, and I would like to see you, the you, the unknown person who joined the org that I've never had the pleasure of flying with or fighting with. Guys, we get into wars. Uh, we also do fun stuff too. We uh, go mining. We go trading. Uh, we go exploring, we go low flying, we go formation flying, uh, we do all kinds of things. We were doing Xeno Threat together, Jump Town together, uh, Nine Tails Lockdown together as an org, as a team. And it's, it's amazing. And I would like to reach out to the people who took the time to join and meet you. I want to meet you. So I hope I get the opportunity and the chance uh, to meet you starting tomorrow. Uh, so remember, 10 a.m. to 10 p.m. Eastern Time tomorrow. It's a long day, a long streaming day. We're going to have so much fun, uh, and uh, I hope to see you there. Um, so uh, if you'd like to join the org and you haven't yet, uh, there is a link down below, um, expand or see more or something like that. And there's a link to join the org. There's a link for the Discord. There's a link to where I'm streaming every Tuesday uh, through... Um, uh, Saturday, 2 p.m. Eastern, 10 p.m. Eastern. And uh, here pretty soon, we're going to have a website that's going to go live that you could also watch from the website instead of going over to Twitch. Uh, so we're trying to open up a lot of new ways for you guys to see everything. Now, uh, I'm a partner over on Twitch. So Twitch has got this thing where they don't want me to stream to YouTube and Twitch at the same exact time. And so that's why I don't do that. Um... If I don't end up seeing a whole lot of you guys, what I'm going to do is that extra streaming day that I'm going to be adding in, I'm going to add it on YouTube. Uh, so we'll have a streaming day for the org on YouTube um, if I don't see you guys over there on Twitch or at least joining the party. Uh, but that's all I've got. We're going to be doing giveaways starting tomorrow. Uh, and it's I'm excited about it. The Quicksilver armor is amazing. It's my favorite armor in the game. Uh, there's just something about it. I know it doesn't look like a Mandalorian helmet, but there's just something Mandalorian about it. I think it's, I don't know, man. I think it's just because it's all stainless steel. Uh, but it's a great piece of armor. And this is one, when you win this, it'll be in your hangar and you'll be able to have it uh, forever. Um, every time you lose it, say you lose it, somebody kills you, steals you, or your armor, it loots it. Uh, if you do a character reset, you get it back. Uh, or if you don't want to do that, when you get a new patch, when you up update the game uh, to a new patch, you get it back. Uh, character reset, it's pretty simple, pretty easy, and it's not as bad as it used to be. Um, you get the armor right back. So it's, uh, it's going to be there tomorrow. Up for grabs. Let's see who wins it. Uh, let's go ahead and get into the video where I talk about how I use uh, stick and mouse uh, to play the game now. And I'm starting to improve. Anyways, uh, may the verse be with you guys and hope to see you tomorrow and uh, in the many days to come. Where are you, Orc members? Where are you? What is going on, guys? Thank you so much for coming back to Cobra TV. And I've got something really exciting that I really want to show you uh, for many years. I've been trying to find the right setup to play Star Citizen, and I found the one that works for me. Um, today, we're going to be learning about stick and mouse and why I think it's uh, better um, than all the other options that I've tried over the years. And uh, I'm going to explain why. And this might not work for you. But it works for me. All right, let's go ahead and get into it. This video brought to you in part by the Patreon supporters of Cobra TV. All right, guys. So I've tried a lot of things over the uh, years. I've tried. Uh, well, I started off with keyboard and mouse, and then there was a phase I tried to use a controller. It was a really weak controller, uh, but I went to that, and then I ended up going back to keyboard and mouse because it felt more natural. Um, then I ended up doing, uh, uh, I ended up buying a stick and throttle. So I did HOTUS for a little while, um, where I had the, uh, the, the, you know, the throttle over here and the stick was over here. Um, and then I, there was something that just wasn't right with that. Um, cause I really wanted to, you know, control my ship a lot better, especially in dog fights. Um, so then I ended up getting another stick to replace the throttle that was over here. 
and to me that was the best way that i have played the game so far i mean it felt more immersive than anything um and it uh it, it really helps with my aim on my ship and stuff like that um it was it was good don't get me wrong dual sticks is probably the number one way for people to play this game um but speaking from experience when i used the uh the dual stick the right stick over here um it it was hard to aim i kept overshooting my target you know with my aim and stuff like that uh and I, it just it I, it wasn't uh, really working uh, for me that well in my brain. So then I went back to keyboard and mouse, um, and I realized that you know keyboard and mouse in doing the yoga and the having your finger do do the splits and stuff over here. It's like it, it's uh, it's difficult. It really is. And so I ended up. Um, deciding one day after talking to uh one of my friends bahamut and a few others that were like man why you i ended up going to the controller that's right i ended up buying uh this guy right here um the uh xbox uh elite um series 2 the xbox elite series 2 i tried this thing out and it was uh it's very fun to use uh but again it's not fun i mean it's not good for dog fighting um maybe if i worked on it just a little bit more i could get it to i could get it to work just right um but again dual sticks uh is better than the controller fun but not practical very fun very comfortable to use a controller um and you can use this controller for the whole game and you don't ever need to touch the keyboard ever so um i tried that out didn't work so well um and then that's when i decided to get my sticks out after listening to bahamut saying yeah well maybe you should throw that away and get your sticks and so i did i got the sticks out but we moved and uh one of the sticks it was the right one um all the buttons got smashed on it in one of the boxes that it was in so it was it was unusable so i was left there with just one stick so what did i do I decided to um, hook it up and take the entirety of this left hand side of the keyboard and put it on the stick and work on just flying and I used stick and mouse and immediately <laughs> I mean immediately it was better so much better um, the space bar is it, it, the space bar WSAD QE um, control shift it's all on here uh, and I'm going to show you exactly what I did. Um, so going forward is, you know, for, you know, thrusting forward and back is obviously, uh, thrusting backwards. And then you've got left and right, which is strafing left and right. And then my strafe up is this button here. That's on the top. I don't know if you can see that. Uh, it's right here on the top. Um, my strafe down is right here this button here on the on the right hand side um and then my targeting is right here my power cycle is on my hat and up is my flares uh and my boost is what's what's, what's my boost my boost oh my boost is my trigger right here um so it's it's all here and then I've got I've got other things. Um, I, I'm still not done. I still haven't put my landing gear on any of these buttons. And I got buttons over here on the other side. Uh, I still haven't done all that. Um, but uh, that's the, the last and final things that I have to do. And that's easy. I wanted to focus on making sure I could fly. And then after I, I, I knew I could fly, I wanted to focus on making sure that I could um, uh, dogfight. And I can and I can. So we're going to go into Rita Commander and I'm going to show you um, how I'm actually controlling this, what it looks like. Uh, and then if you have any questions, uh, post them in the comments. I'll, I'll tell you. I, I know it sounds weird, but stick and mouse is, it. if you're not good at dog fighting, um, stick and mouse is the most preferable way that I have found uh, to play Star Citizen and to dogfight, to control your ship very well. And I, I know it sounds strange, but if you have a stick, um, 
uh, just play around with it one afternoon or late at night. You're staying up. You can't sleep. Uh, play around with it and uh, go back and, and listen. Oh, yeah. And roll is my twist. I forgot to say that. Roll's twist. Um, and so forward, backwards, straight, uh, right, straight, left, um, roll, right, roll, left, and up, down, uh, targeting power cycle. And it's, it's amazing. All right. So we're going to go into the game. I'm going to show you what it looks like when I'm playing. Uh, again, I didn't mess with any of the curves. I didn't mess with any of the sensitivity. I left it all default, left it all the same. Um, so the only thing is, is taking that stick and figuring out what works right in your brain. What's forward? What's, you know, what's, which, which is going to be roll, which is going to be strafe up, strafe down. You know what I mean? That's all up to you. What feels right in your, your mind. So let's go ahead and get into the game and, uh, we'll check this out. Shall we? All right. Returning to my game. Here we go. Okay. So let's give this a shot. <laughs> All right, we got uh, hostiles inbound. Let's go ahead and get down here and uh, tear them up. Again, remember how newbie I was at dogfighting? Not saying I'm not anymore. I'm just saying that I'm a little bit better than what I used to be. You go. Just get warmed up here. Warning. There are multiple hostiles inbound. All right, we got somebody down here. Another one up here. Oh, he's gone. All right, I don't see anything else. They don't have the gas cans here anymore. on buddy wait he's far away isn't he might be a trap might be trying to get me to go out there to that boundary all right let's go ahead and unleash holy hell unholy hell there you go this is coming from a guy who couldn't do this before right stick a mouse i'm telling you guys all right here we go to him. Wait, he's closer, huh? Mm. Locked on to from where? From over here. Oh, 
Oh, he's gone. All right, I don't see anything else. Ah, there he is. There you go. Warning. There are multiple watchdogs inbound. All right, come up here and get this fella. seeing anything up oh, up here there we go bam Look around for more. I'm not seeing any. Wait, I just saw something right there. Zero hostile. Ah, an NPC got him. All right, zero contacts remaining. All right, there's nothing on my immediate radar, so we'll just pick one and go after it. Start slowing down. Sworn there was something right there. Contact. Contact. Yep. Hydrogen fuel at seventy-five percent. They keep disappearing. <clears throat> Contact. Watch with this guy. Probably won't do too much of this, right? I'm not going to finish it. I just wanted to show you guys exactly. You know the kind of improvements that um, even somebody like me can make with this setup you have complete and utter control of your strafing you know your your walls and stuff like that and I'm also learning that you aim with your strafe and not your mouse your mouse gets you in a general uh, direction, but once you get your mouse in that place, uh, in that little sweet spot where the pip is, you can actually use your strafing and a little tiny bit of movement with your mouse, and that's what you use to aim with. But you gotta get it right in that sweet spot, like right there. 
and you could use your strafing for aim. There you go. Mostly strafe. Like 5% aim, uh, mouse, uh, for aiming. It's amazing. Like, uh, things just start making more sense to me now. Uh, with mouse and keyboard. But anyways, look. That's all I'm gonna do. I'm not gonna keep you guys for too long. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, I, I can't think of anything to, like, uh, tell you unless you ask me questions in the comments down below. Um, again, I didn't mess with, uh, I didn't mess with the, um, the sensitivity or the curves or anything like that. Uh, so we'll go to joystick, we'll go to advanced controls, and I'll go to, um, flight movement, and I'll kind of show you what I've got set up here. Um, so if you wanted to just look at that, uh... I did it all myself. I'm not a smart guy. I'm a very smooth brain. You know what I mean? I was able to figure this out by myself late at night one night, and it has improved so much of 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 what I do. Uh, and if you have any questions, comment them down below, and I'll do my best to answer them. Um, if you're a stick and mouse player, uh, let me know. Uh, show yourself in the comment section. Talk about uh, how you feel about stick and mouse. Um, if you tried it before and you don't like it, also let me know. I'd like to hear all different opinions um, down below. There's no right or wrong way. Um, well, there is a right way, but there's no wrong way to play Star Citizen. If your brain somehow thinks a controller is best, that's what it is for you. Um, if it's stick and mouse, dual stick, uh, stick and throttle, uh, whatever way works for you is the right way. There's no wrong way unless it doesn't work for you. All right, guys, thank you so much for coming out to the show, uh, watching the video. Please share it. Um, please talk about it. Get in the comment section. I'll get down in there with you. Um, as always, I love you guys. May the verse be with you.